Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Debbie <laughs> said Monday, Monday from New Mexico. Monday, Monday. Bom, 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 bom. Hey, I follow these two um, guys on um, Instagram. Mm -hmm. They're older gentlemen. Oh. And yeah, I can see where I got my dance moves from. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. Ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, do the boxing dance yeah. with me. <laughs> How's everyone doing today on this beautiful Monday? Yeah. Isn't it so pretty oh, outside? It's gorgeous. I had to go to the store. Yes. And um, yeah. Oh my goodness. I came back. Yeah, you came <laughs> back. But speaking of the store. Oh, you guys. Oh. Oh. It is beautiful. There's a bunch of stuff happening over there right now. They have a class today. Mm -hmm. Beth is teaching it. And I really wanted to stay and take it. Did you? She had step outs. She had a flannel board with all the step outs. The ladies were going gaga. Well, it's their mystery Monday, right? It's amazing. Yes. And they said they are learning so much. It's wonderful. It made me excited. That's exciting. And we have a lot of fun stuff going on at the store right now oh, with renovation man. galore. Man. The paint, the brick, the everything. It's it is going to be. Did you see like that window new... that I did for Allison? Yes. Isn't I that love so it. cute? We're I gonna, need one. We definitely will do a tour of it. Oh, yeah. Here. It's going to be probably a few more weeks of renovating, but yeah. it's going to be done just in the nick of time for, for Shop, Shop Hop. Hop. <laughs> yes. Yes. Very Good thing we've got a deadline, that. right? <laughs> exactly. I work better with nothing, deadlines. <laughs> nothing like a deadline for sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, everyone. We're happy to see you. Happy to have you here. And a special welcome to our friends on Instagram. This is something new that we are oh, yeah, I didn't think about. opening our audience. So Instagram. we first started with Facebook and then now we've got Facebook and YouTube. And then starting today, what do you know? We have our friends from Instagram on as well. So if you're so I can scroll coming all from three. Instagram, let us know you're here. In fact, Patty from Instagram is coming to us from Brazil. <gasps> nice. Or, or, Brazil. Oh, Brazil. She's been there. Oh, I, I, okay. Somebody else is coming from Brazil. Oh, Gabardo 2707. Hello. I've from been Brazil. to Brazil. Okay. Yes, you have. We'll mm -hmm. talk about those Brazilians here in just a minute. <laughs> Cutie pies. That's right. You're watching Three Themes at Three, where theme number one is something to make you smile. Theme number two is a daily how-to. And theme number three is a daily preview. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Speaking of Brazilians, you've got some Brazilians in your family. And I do. So tell us about a special birthday. Yes. So my daughter-in-law is from Brazil, Sao Paulo, and she has four children. Her oldest one, um, Bella, is almost 17 next <gasps> month. I can't oh, believe that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. I oh. cannot believe that. Okay. Then we have, wow, Tiago. 
Yes, I love Tiago. He's then, my favorite. Uh huh. Mark <laughs> and Olivia, they're a set of twins. We were shocked. They're you so don't even want to hear my answer when they told me they were having twins. Oh, I, I do inappropriate can't even stuff. Imagine. <laughs> but, but Bella mm -hmm. and Mark and Olivia yeah. are all white as white. I mean, you could tell they're mm -hmm. Jay, my son's mm -hmm. kids. Tiago definitely pulled the, um, the Brazilian, Brazilian gene, huh? Oh my gosh, he's nice, darling. nice. But he's playing baseball, uh huh. And he wants to play baseball in high school. <laughs> That's so funny. He'll probably hate me, uh huh. But it's because he wants to get the chicks, and he's going to be thirteen next month. Mister Tiago getting the chicks. <laughs> yep, he's awesome, <laughs> awesome. And then the twins celebrated their birthday Their ninth yesterday, birthday. Right? Yes, yes. They uh... turned nine during the week. And we didn't get to celebrate until yesterday, but it. so much fun. We gave Seems them these just like yesterday coolest they were kites. Born. I know. I know. I know. And my daughter-in-law and son just took it in stride. Oh, my yeah, goodness. She, wow. had them, she had them easy. Wow. Twins are so much fun. Yes, they are. Aren't they? <laughs> all grandbabies, right? <laughs> exactly. I All grandbabies. I finally get to go out to Ohio <sighs> this next weekend and see Bridger Boy. Oh. He's, he's getting big. He's getting big. He's getting chunky. He's getting all the rolls, and I can't wait to squish them. Mm -hmm. Just squish, squish the little squish, and have him suck on your face and yes, eat I your face. Yes, I can't wait. I can't wait. So I'll be sure and get some pictures to show you. Oh yeah. Hey, guess what else I did this weekend? What? I taught myself something. You guys uh, are all going to be so proud. I am way impressed. I taught myself how to crochet. I'm going to have to do Thanks it. Thanks to Miss Lori the Holt. Challenge, right? Yes. Oh, I saw goodness. what Crystal had done, and I'm I was so like, excited. I love the colors. Oh, thank you. Let me tell you, friends. Lori Holt has a, a crochet along coming up on April eighth. <gasps> Maybe I can and do it. Yes, you. That's you, a good you, idea. And it's not too late if you want to get in on some of the crochet yarns and so she doing it through our and everything. Shop or She's doing it on YouTube. We're just selling a lot of the yarn. We got lots of yarn. Yarn and the and needles and everything you needles, need to do it. Things, yeah, everything you need. And so join along. And, uh, okay, you guys, this is the first time I've done really? this. Really? First? first? I've never, well, okay. <laughs> I can do, what do you call that? A chain stitch, Chain Abby? stitch, yep. Okay, I can do a chain stitch. The beginning, stitch. right? Isn't um, that the chain the stitch on the outside? Yes. Look kind at me. Of. No, it's not. No, really. no, mm -mm. no. <laughs> oh, it looks like so a chain it's stick like, right there. Well, no, there's two chains. There's oh, two okay. chains in between a double crochet. Ooh, look at you. Voila. Put your pinkies so, up. Pinkies up. Um, uh, so I'm super excited because I'm, very I'm going to take this out to Ohio with me and I'm going to do them on the plane. Uh -huh. And Abby's taking some with her she's heading out to florida this week she's taking some with her on the plane maybe i'll take some to savannah uh, no you should mm -hmm. because it's so fun i'm yeah. kind of addicted now yeah and like i i want to keep crocheting and it was great because i had to can uh, you bring your needles on the plane um you can abby says yes they have to be in a container abby says mm. so cool uh, in fact abby's going to show us um this we she's going to show us some her tips for cutting the yarns if you, you when know, you're on, adding them when you're on the plane oh yeah so mm. anyway i'm super excited you guys follow along if you want to april 8th and guess what you and i have a special guest coming on april 8th for three at three you want to know who it is mm -hmm. it's mia who it's mia um debbie's granddaughter who's 11 years old oh and she is a crochet yes extraordinary oh we get her yes She's going to come and, and teach us all. I bet Debbie's all right here her with her. Ways. Yeah. Nice. I know she does all kinds of stuff. So I just want to. How'd you I just get her? Show this. <laughs> I know people. <laughs> Isn't I love that it. what you I always love, say? Yes, it is. I know people. Mm -hmm. All right. That's so all I don't about. know. I'm just going to make a whole bunch of them and then maybe I'll sew them together. I don't know. I don't well, know. I'm, I'm sure Bridger needs now. a blanket of course not a does. quilt a blanket yes a crocheted blanket i don't know i'm just you could so make excited. a vest so but uh on april 8th if if i still have this with me i gotta show you you all i was gonna bring it today and i must have left it at home i need to show you my first one i did it was <laughs> terrible <laughs> terrible i abby you'll die i did it look like a it, square it looked like a little barbie hat <laughs> 
<laughs> a beanie. Did you make it too tight in some spots? Yes, yes because then I forgot to do like the single crochet in between. Hey, and, it's a learning process. And so it started like curving up. I'm like, <gasps> what's happening? So I, I, I panic. I would, I would hold on to it to show. Yeah, absolutely. Mia, our 11 year old crochet. She'll be very Mia. impressed. Yes, she will. <laughs> but this, this is much better. So, I'm very impressed. Anyway. I need to do it. Yeah, I want to. Yeah. The colors are killing me. Very fun. Very fun. So again, you can get those items um, on our website, and it's not too late. So okay, we still have some more. Come and play with us. We do. We All do. Right. Uh, Carol says she's made that Barbie hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little beanie. Because they're just. Whoa. Can you make a Ken one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could. <laughs> I could. So anyway, it was fun. It was fun. Good. All right, friends. Well, um, we we've got a couple things, a uh, couple laughs to share with you. Uh, before we get started with theme number two. Okay. All right. Mr. Hunter's behind the screen today. Let's take a look at the first one. Okay. I Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have you read this one, Kyle. <laughs> Let's see if what happens. Okay. The urge to sing The Lion Sleeps Tonight is always just a whim away, a whim away, a whim away, <laughs> a whim away. Oh, you got it right away. <laughs> I'm so smart. A whim away, a whim away, a whim away, a whim away. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. <laughs> anyway. A whim, a whim. All right. Now you're not going to be able to stop. Enough. I, now I can't get it out of my head. I apologize to all of you watching that that is. Like, it was awesome. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much, Chris. Now we have that song stuck yep. in our heads. You're welcome. All right. Mr. Williams sent this to us. Let's oh, take a look. William. Just in time for Easter. Ten kids can pick up 5,000 eggs in a yard the size of a football field in 10 minutes. But it takes them three months to pick up five toys in a small bedroom. That How true is that the is. truth. Right, yes. William? Yes, that's true. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, man. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a real thing. It is. Oh, Roxana said it's Music Monday. <laughs> Oh, even We're worse. so sorry. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I didn't even. I didn't oh, even warm up. That's goodness. the problem. Oh my goodness. Oh, Amy has a question. She's asking, "Will you all?" I love that, y'all. Y'all, I love that. Will you all be at the quilt show next month in Paducah? Yes, I will. I'm not. I know. Darn it! I just wish there was. We could take everyone. I know. There's I just know. three of us who are going to be there. Yeah. Who's that? Myself. Cindy and Sherry. Yep. Yep. Very so, important that they are there. Yeah, That'd be it is. Awesome. They're, they're kind of the ones who oversee mm -hmm. events and things. So yep. it's important. So they know what there. they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, if you're going to be I'll hold in, down the fort. Don't will, worry. Will you? I, yeah. You know what? I know I can count on you. <laughs> I totally can. So <laughs> if you're in Paducah, if you happen to be in Paducah next month, yes, we'd love to see you for sure. Okay. And what? One Somebody more. said something about canceled. I, What's canceled? What? I didn't What's get to read canceled? the whole thing. Let's see. Oh, we canceled this year. Oh, oh Vicky. Vicky oh. canceled. Oh, okay. But, oh, Phew. Vicky, what a bummer. All right. Well, and then finally, I, this just made me think of your twins' birthday party yesterday. Okay. So oh. I saw uh, this and went, oh, okay. We did not have a pinata this year oh. <laughs> in the house. <laughs> Oh, that was wild. Didn't, didn't work so well last no. year. My daughter asked for a Cinderella themed party, uh, so I invited all her friends over and made them clean my house. <laughs> I love it. There I you love go. it. Well, there's always. If only that. I'd known that when my daughter was little. Right. <laughs> <That's all. sighs> yeah. There you go. There's. We hope those things brought a smile to your face. <laughs> I do love that. Uh, Cinderella. I think you should tell your kids that. I will. Your grandkiddies. For sure. Because they do feel like Cinderella. Yeah. Yeah. For They're just sure. normal kids. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right, my friends. Theme number one is officially done. I forgot to tell you. Oh, what? We got baby chicks. <gasps> What? They're little baby chicks. Oh my gosh. They're what? so cute. Why? Why? Because Why did my you do husband that? is the crazy chicken man. He's also the crazy cow man. Yes, he is. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. okay, but they're cute well. for right now. Oh, how fun. I bet the grandkids are loving it. Oh, they did. We got yeah. to take them and they each got to pick out two. Oh, that's so cute. Do they have fun. names? Oh, yeah. yeah. Olivia's naming them. I don't okay. remember. You'll have to give us a report. Okay, I will. Okay. Chubba Bubba is one because I said <laughs> Chubba that. Chubba Bubba. <laughs> 
they're adorable. They are. They're cute. Oh, we so one poop pictures? right in Chago's hand. Oh well. And then he that. chased his brother and his sister. Of course he did. That's fun. No. Chago. Who gets the chicks? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness okay sorry that's awesome okay so let's uh go that's ahead and do theme number two. two is something to learn all right friends. i'm ready are you ready for this mm -hmm. are you ready for this okay i'm so excited where do i begin mm -hmm. um, oh this is amazing let's let's talk about a new <laughs> tool that we have in our my old our, eyes yeah, yeah, I'm right there with you, friend. Mm -hmm. um, and it's been out on the market for several years, but we've never carried it. And just recently, we decided, you know what? We're going to go all in. Good job. What are we going all in on? Caterpillar. How many of you have seen Caterpillar before? What I'm referring to today we've been talking a little bit about the caterpillar lights yeah and, yeah and the handle with the light which is super hey cool. i got that little that little light and do you love it yes i do oh, yeah yes i do I, know. I love mine too i, I had to it. wait till i got my destiny back from being serviced uh -huh. so i can put it on there nice very nice well we are going to talk about their cutting mat system because it's pretty dang cool and we're going to talk about fusible applique for those on uh, who want to do it by sewing machine. And I'm going to fill you in on kind of a fun little sew along we're going to start. <gasps> With applique? Yeah. I know. I have to tell you. Okay. I did some applique on a sample this weekend. Yeah. And I had to bring it in here because my destiny was being serviced. <laughs> so sad. And the little machine didn't have the um, blanket stitch. So be oh, aware of yeah, what your yeah, sewing yeah. machine can and cannot That's do. So I would not buy another Sorry, one without a forward. without a blanket stitch. Oh yeah, blanket stitch is a I've big got, deal. I've got standards now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> I got standards. Pinkies up. Yes. All right. Well, friends, let's talk about, um, there's a couple different sizes we're going to be offering. <clears throat> and one of the reasons why we want to show this off today, and I think we'll do it a couple more times this week too during three at three, is because <coughs> if you are not in on our Sunday email, we do every Sunday, we do um, a steal of a deal. Mm -hmm. And they're good. They're really good. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this next Sunday is going to be uh, the Caterpillar Glow Light System. And so but, it, that's what I'm oh, going to show today. Oh, that's what this is called? So that's why I want to show everyone this can a be little a deal? bit more about it. Oh, yes. And you know Todd. He's, <laughs> he's a great wheeler and dealer, man. Good and job. He is. He's he got us an, a good yeah, deal. We are. We're going to offer you guys a really amazing deal. So nice. might be something to think about or consider as maybe a, just like a Mother's Day gift yeah. coming up. No, I would like that. as a gift, right? For mm -hmm. yourself. So let's talk about the two that we are featuring. The first one is this one right here. And then I'm going to show you a fun project to do with it. So the first one is I have a little cheap one. The premium. You, you have a cheap. It's not uh, one of these. Light table. Yeah. I no. love that this has a very low profile. Um, yes. So it goes like right up against your mat. Nice. And look how lightweight it is. Feel and that, that and that's not bendy. No, it's not. It's nice, nice. and straight. Oh, and it's not too heavy. The nice thing that we're I could also carry that with me. Off is it does oh, have I didn't know that. A, a little carrying case that you can purchase separately. Definitely. It allows you to put it in. That way you can take it to classes and retreats and all kinds of things, right? And Darn your you. little cord goes in here. Yeah, this is I could put be it away. Fun. I need I need one of both of these in my sewing room. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you because mm -hmm. this, if I'm working on applique pieces or uh that would paper have been piecing, so nice. If I'm weeding vinyl for those <gasps> of you who weed vinyl, yes. Um, this is perfect. And you could take this with you I and have to tell my sister on your, on your lap. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. Tell Lisa. Um, but if you're watching TV or something, you can just take this with you and put it right on top of your lap. I could do my Legos. <laughs> you, could, you could. You could do your Legos. And so, anyway, this um, has, whoops, 
three different light settings here. You can see right here. Gives, nice. Let's let's bring this up on the cutting mat. Right there. There we oh, go. Oh, good. Okay, so a little bit smaller. Oh, and this ends up. Yeah, so you can see here. It's just a simple touch right here. That's right, nice. Roxana, and it's girlfriend green. Yes. Two, three. Now, here's also another game changer, though. Not just for something like if you're tracing appliques, which we're going to do here in just a minute. This is life-changing. Yeah, they they came out with this a little bit later and talk about how cool nice. is this. It's the self-healing cutting mat. It actually comes this with the light table. What does self-healing mean? It just means that when you put a cut in it, it actually repairs itself. Oh, um, so you don't end up with a groove. Yeah. I mean, after a long yes. time, you will get grooves. But if you have seen cheaper mats out there on the market, mm -hmm. you get a groove after one cut, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is never good, right? And I love it. So it's got all the marks. Yes. All the markings, um, mm. eighth inch markings, quarter inch markings, all the way. Do we have a lot of these? You, yes, we do. We have 12 okay. inches over and 16, 16. inches Ooh, across. That now, covers a whole block. Here's the other thing. I was a little worried about this when they were first showing me because we met with, Todd and I met with the president of the company. Ooh. I wanted to see this in person and just kind of, because I don't like to bring in anything that I don't really believe in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, example, the pin cup. I will never... <laughs> If you guys Case have not point. seen that. Case in point. So that was on bloopers, I, right? Oh, yes. Go oh, back yes. and watch bloopers. And so anyway, so I was like, he he pulled this out and I was like, okay, but isn't that going to slip off? No. Look at this, Kyle. It doesn't nice. slip off. Yeah, right? it doesn't. And You're not kidding. No, because it has these non-slip grips on the oh. bottom and it just kind of sticks right to it. So you put it on. And look at that, no movement. So if so, I if I even got nice. it on like this, I could still follow the lines and exactly. be straight. Exactly, nice. Exactly. Now, here's something else that they came up with, and that is tempered glass. What is okay, that, folks? And it just can rest right on there, and it has like the this. little slip mark. Like that. Or mm -hmm. Dots. Now, tempered glass, you're not going to necessarily cut, cut on. No, but, but trace tracing themes but also this is what's so cool and i'm going to show this today in our demo you can put an iron to this -uh. yeah with the light still coming through now you you could not put an iron straight to it the won't light hurt table. the light no nope. if you've got you, this on if it. you have this don't on do it, it on the map you can do that exactly but those of you who are crafters i know many of you out there if you're a quilter many of you are also crafters if you like to do card making if you like like um Again, uh, uh, so many different things. The weeding, the vinyl on that mm -hmm. cutting mat. If you like to paint, if you like to stamp, all of that can be on here and you just scrape it right off. It just Get comes out. right off of the glass. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I don't ever cool. have to move out of my chair. Exactly. It's like having all these different yeah. systems right in one spot. So, And these all can me, go in that bag? And they can the smaller all go, ones. Yes, they can all go in that bag. So I'm going to move that aside. That would be more portable. This baby is the one I really want in my sewing room, Kyle. Oh, I bet. And what we're going to demonstrate on. Okay. And that is this mat. Oh, this came off. That actually measures 24 inches Ooh. by um, like 19 inches. 20, oh, wow. Actually, like 25, 26 inches if you go all the way from edge to edge. Oh, okay, because it's another inch? Yeah, approximately. So let's take a look down here, Hunter. Okay, so you can see here that, again, I have just a big light table by itself. You haven't even turned it on yet. I haven't even turned it on yet. Okay. And then... Ah! So we've got three... That's nice and bright. of light right there. Isn't that great? So, and the fact that I can cut on this cutting mat with the light shining through is pretty awesome. Then again, for those of you who are crafters, uh, scrapbookers, uh, card makers, oh, you've got yes. some of the most common sizes right here. You have still your 30, your 45, your 60 degree lines going in every which way. This is going to be the perfect size uh, for the fat quarter. 
Okay, oh. so if you think about it, a fat quarter is 18 yes. by 22. Well, this is going to be 19 by 26, approximately. So, Darlene, this is a self-healing mat that rests on top of the glass uh, um, light table. Okay, now I can do... You can again. interchange the smaller glass onto this. Yeah, you definitely could. Ooh. So, see, I'm just... Yeah, that makes me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> right there and cut all my little pieces just like that huh. now so if you've got fabric that you're trying to get just straight let's see i can grab my ruler here that's my favorite can, ruler oh mine too yeah and look at that kyle can you can see. see right through there that line you can and just make sure everything's lined up there okay oh. now let me show you what I had fun with working on earlier today. I'm going to use the mat in conjunction with the tempered glass. And I'm gonna rest my tempered glass just over here on the side. So I've got my cutting mat and uh, my tempered glass. Now, tomorrow on three at three, I know um, I was talking to Sherry earlier and asked her if she would do a demonstration on paper piecing. Because those of you who like oh. to do paper piecing, you would cut it right here and press oh. it right here. How cool is that? Nice. Right? Okay. So what I've got for today's demo is, I don't know about you, Kyle, but I'm like, I, I need spring. I need flowers. Absolutely. I am ready for the flowers to show. And they're not showing in my yard yet. I had a I'm crocus. Really, I'm a really torqued about that. You got a crocus? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> and so I have these flower appliques and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how simple it is to use this all together as one system. I'm going to grab a couple samples. Excuse my reach. I love quick. these flowers. Aren't they pretty? Yes. Okay. I fell in love with these fabrics. Can you put a wool mat on the glass? Um. I don't know. I haven't tried Why it. Why would you? Do you need to? I would probably, because the heat goes through, transfers through, I don't know. I don't know if I, I don't know. I would. If it was like a really fast press, then yeah, you'd probably be okay. But, but do you need one I if you have the like glass? The no. Uh-uh, with the tempered glass. But look at this fabric. Okay. Cute. Is that oh. not so beautiful? We have that in right now. Yes. This is called uh, Splendid. I believe it's pretty much splendid from Riley Blake. And these fabrics just Whoa. inspired me. I, I love that like, green. The blue I, is pretty. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? We're going to use that one um, for today's flower. And all of these are cool. I don't know. I just, this is what inspired me. Now, sometimes you look at fabric and you just go, mm -hmm. that's inspiring to me. Mm -hmm. That's what this did for me. Okay. Oh, yeah. So we are going to uh, sell on Wednesday. We're going to put together some little uh, Fat Eighth bundles for you. Fat Eighth? Yeah, it's Splendid by Riley Blake. Cute. Of this fabric for those of you who might be interested in purchasing this fabric. But look at, look at this. I know, right? And so I said, okay, flowers it is. I got to do <laughs> flowers. All right. So let's see. So this is the first one I did, and I put two um, on one 10-inch square. I had some leftover 10-inch squares, so I did that. Good idea. And then today I worked on this one. I have not applied it with the sewing machine yet, so I'm going to show that on the demo. I see a lot of people that don't do an applique stitch on it. What uh, do you think? Well, it, it's, you know, it's totally a personal preference. Um, some people like to do a blanket stitch. I personally love the blanket stitch I on do it. too. And Hunter, are we able to get a little more up close on this one, please? Um, I like to match my colors mm. with my thread color. It used to be years ago, um, and maybe some people still do. I just prefer not to. Remember when everything used to be in black? Somebody told me that was like an outline, like, uh, coloring book. Yeah, to me, I was just like, I, I don't know. It, it, it Sometimes was a more traditional look at it, but can you imagine all of that in black? No, it takes away. It 
kind of would take it away. So I like to um, use it. I like to use the same matching thread colors with mine. Okay. Again, total per personal preference. So I did blanket stitch, but like you said, some people like to do just like a raw edge applique where you could do mm -hmm. a straight stitch around mm -hmm. and just know that you would have some edges fraying. You could do a zigzag. I'm also going to make these uh, for I'm the terrible at machine zigzag as well. Are you? Yeah. That's well, not your thing, huh? No, no. Would you rather do blanket stitch? Yes, I would. Nice. Okay. Well, that's good to know. So, um, and then this one, again, um, I was able to just. Uh, I like it was that so one nice because a lot. I let me show you now on this here. thin of a stem you'll still blanket stitch that oh absolutely really? I mean I you can see here do you I change the stitched. width of your you could and the length and yeah, all that you definitely you could, can mess for around. sure there but isn't a written out. law of what size it has to be no okay. no 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 good okay all right so I'm going to show you just basically what I did here because I've got this hmm. uh, light light underneath and I have the tempered glass on top. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is on top of my caterpillar. I was able to take my pattern and just place my background. Oh, that's awesome. Over top, right? I don't have to go to the window or whatever. Exactly. And kill my arms. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then when I cut out my pieces, I could lay them exactly where I wanted them to go. Nice. Isn't that cool? Nice. Yeah. So again, and the best part is I could take my iron and, and not have to move it. that. Exactly. So I would use this to trace mm -hmm. my appliques and then I would just bring it right over here and, and iron them on. So it's all within one working area which is kind of cool i on the pattern that you guys will be able to receive i made these in color nice again just so that you it could really it could really show up for you as to where the different pieces go so i hope you find that to be helpful and look at all the labeling <laughs> and the look at all oh, well here's another thing that i made sure to do if so and it, again, this is especially for those of you who might be brand new to applique, and I wanted to have the beginner in mind when I put this together. And that is sometimes we don't know which layer to go to, right? Mm -hmm. We don't like you might look what at this one you and put say, on which first? one do I put on first? Now, if you're used to doing this, uh, you, you know this is not a big deal. You're like, oh, oh, well, that's easy, Chris. It's obviously it's going to be you know, the leaves first and then the stem second and so forth. Mm -hmm. But if you didn't know this, the way I have put this together is hopefully going to help you. And I have it as F3A and F just stands for flower. Three is the third flower in this series. I put together Look five different you. flowers. And then A is the first one that's going to go down. Then it matches up with F3A. Ah, which is right here. Okay, nice, so Chris. I would trace that, put it on. My second one would be flower three B, right? And that is this piece right here. And you're just laying it right on top of that. Exactly. But and this would so, be on there first, right? But because I have this, you can I still can, see. I still see where it needs to go. Because you've also got the pattern that'll tell you mm -hmm. what is next. Yep. So F3B would go next, and it coordinates with F3B right here. Which oh, is just the that's outline. the stems. Flower 3C is going to be this stem, flower 3C, and then we go from there. Does that nice. make sense, Kyle? Yeah, it does. Okay. I, just, I love it. Awesome. All right. So for today, we are going to focus on this cute little tulip. And I've got pulled some fabrics here. and. I'm going to place my this came off tempered the paper. edge right there. Oh, that's okay. So, yeah. And I'm going to use some steam -a seam I love steam -a seam what's, um, what's the difference? steam -a seam has a little bit of a tact to it. Mm -hmm. So you could use heat and bond light as well. But the thing I like about steam -a seam is that I could reposition my pieces. So oh. let's go ahead. Before Kyle. you even iron it. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
Okay. And why don't you go ahead and let's trace. Let me see which side I want to be on. I want to be on this side. Let's have you trace F54 and F55. All right. Okay. And you can do them separately. You don't have to do them together. So, okay. So do I trace right here or do I trace those? Which, what's that? Do I trace this? Oh, you're going to trace these. Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay. Yeah. So you go F54 and then. All right. Because they're separated. Uh-huh. Yeah, they are separated. Mm -hmm. Somebody's asking, what is the mount on my right called? And this is called the Caterpillar Tempered Glass. So this is glass you can iron right onto it. You know, I cut better than I draw. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay because it doesn't have to be perfect. I yeah. promise. So see, if you were in your sewing room, you would do this right here. Yes, this like is this awesome. Is. Yeah. Because I have to get up and do it at the window. Exactly. Okay. Okay. So and then I could that. label those. Uh-huh. Yeah, if you want to see, you paper on the top. label them. And when we do applique um, with the sewing machine, we just cut just outside of those lines. We do mm -hmm. not cut directly on the lines. And here's another thing I love about this, Kyle. Okay. Let's say I want to, I've got this beautiful fabric here, and I want to fussy cut a certain oh, piece. Oh, good idea. Get. What I can do, I'm going to flip this Because you're putting this on the back? Mm-hmm. And you I'm going see. to lift off one of the pieces. This is, again, for those of you who are using steam seam. How did you know what side to um, trace on? There's a sticky side, and that's the one that you want to trace on the paper side of the that. The other one will be, when we take that off, it'll iron off. Exactly. Okay. So see here, I can look right through there and see And you could, exactly you could even go I like want. that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. go ahead and play with it. Oh, Where do boy. you want? Where do you want this, I really like the top those. of this to be? I like those. You like those in there? Uh-huh. Okay, perfect. We can do that. Oh, look, it stayed. See how it just kind of sticks onto nice. it? Nice. And it's just a temporary stick. Mm -hmm. That's why I like but that. But you can preview the other one with it. Exactly. But I can see. Can you see how, how cool that is that you can mm -hmm. see through the fabric because of the light? Because I didn't want all blue. Exactly. I don't see the flowers. Now I'm just going to bring it over here and let's grab my uh, iron. It's that blue one over there. Little blue one. This iron is actually going to be I love on this iron. Wednesday's comment sold. I have one. Okay, let's come back here. And you notice, really are going to put it right on that I'm glass. Put it right on the glass. Yep. Right on the glass, folks. How cool is that? Just don't leave okay. your iron setting on it, right? Yeah, you're right. It's yeah. just not a good idea. You're right, exactly. And now I'm going to trim directly on the line. Now that you've ironed it on there, you trim on the lines. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we'll go ahead and do that. Look, you never knew that I wiggled. Exactly. See, you can, it's very forgiving. I love applique. I Only to too. a certain point. I do too. If there's too much. And look, if you're looking for other colors, you could Cute. certainly grab all different colors from here. Cute. I did and a good job. You did do a good <laughs> job. Look how cute that is mm -hmm. going to be. I love the top of that. Okay, Kyle. Now let's cut the bottom of that tulip. Okay. So right here. And I'm just going to go on that we're same go area. Here and let's do this fabric. Oh, oh yeah. Yes, Linda, we do sell the glass I already, and the I already light. traced it. Oh, you did already trace it. Yeah. That's right. Okay, so now what am I going to do? I'm going to put this with the right side facing down on top of my tempered oh, glass. Oh, yeah, because we're ironing it on the back. Mm -hmm. We're ironing it on the back. I just peel that away and just place it here. Now, I have to show you something. I used, let's see, when I did my first applique, Where's, where did it go? Where did my other piece go? Oh, right here. I use this same fabric. Well, um, it was a, a different colorway, but it was the same print. And you can see here, I don't know, Hunter, if you can get closer on this one. But I was able oh, to in the center. cut the center. Of both of them. Yes. All three. Exactly. And again, because I could see through... I could have it go exactly where I wanted it to be. 
so kind of cool. You do sell the glass and light. Yes. We do. Yep. Okay, so they're not on the website yet because, and I don't want you to buy it yet because on Sunday, we're going to have a steal of a deal oh, and you guys don't okay. want to miss out on it. Okay. Okay. But there'll be plenty. Yes, definitely. And we could get more. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that iron once more. And I'm going to fuse this on once again. I can't believe you're ironing on that. Right? It's blowing my mind. Yeah. Making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> it, I have to say, it made me nervous at, uh, as well at first. And I'm like, no, Chris, trust the process. Okay, so we'll go ahead and trim that directly on the line. We don't have any comments from Instagram or whatever. Um, if we have anyone from Instagram who wants to make a comment, let us know. We're trying to monitor a few places at once. Look at that. So look how cute that's going to oh, be coming together. darling. Okay. If I wanted to, I could have extended that a little bit, or I could just bring this over top. Okay. So let's You don't ahead. have to overlap them. No, you don't have to. I'm going to take this little white polka dot, which I think is so cute. Now, did you put something on the back of it? Oh, Stabilized yes. it? I, I'm so glad you asked, Kyle. I am actually using because with the, um, applique. the fusible backing. I always, always use fusible backing on the back of my background. It's good pucker. Whether it's with, um, yeah, whether I'm doing it by sewing machine or an embroidery machine. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, it definitely gives more stability to the project. Okay, so let's pretend that we've gone through all of this and- No steam on the glass. Um, I haven't read anywhere that you can't have steam, so I don't know. You don't really need steam, do you? You don't, you don't need steam on this one. Okay, so that's stabilized on the back. Yes, and if I wanted to, I could take a piece of tape and just, so if I wanted Doesn't to move. make sure it didn't move, but I think, it's just a guide. Good. Um, Gail's asking, what did I say I was using? It peeled off so easily. I am using light steamacine. Steamacine. And does it come like the heat and bond on the... It does, but the difference is that steamacine has a tact. Okay? Oh, yes. Yeah. Heat and bond does not. Oh, Sandy. Yeah, you're right. Sandy, you're absolutely correct. This would be so helpful when doing collage projects. Oh, yeah, that's yes, true. It would. So again, you can see that I, I am looking through. I have that light to help me with the shape of everything. And then I'll place on the top piece. That These Kyle guys are had. genius. I love this. It, I've been having so much fun playing with it. <laughs> and then Again, I can just bring it here. And if I, let's say I get it a little crooked and I go, oh, that's not exactly how I want it. The nice thing is because it has that light tact and I can see here I was a little crooked there. The best part of this is that I don't have to go and take this over to the ironing board. And hope that it doesn't, yeah, like, doesn't move. my pieces don't move. Because sometimes you don't notice. Exactly. So you can see that both pieces are there. And let's grab the iron once more and we can fuse it. That's a nice hot iron. It is. Very handy to have a portable iron like mm -hmm. this, right? Yeah, Sandra says, Laura Heine pattern suggests using steam seam. I really, really do love steam seam for that. Mm -hmm. And it's very lightweight. Um, yeah, it doesn't. Uh, yeah. And sometimes you can get it sort of feel stiff. Like that. Exactly. So then I would just continue this method. Um, let me see. I think I had a circle somewhere around here. You did. Oh, but I think somewhere. it fell off. I was going to cut it out of yellow. Won't that be cute? There'll be a circle there. I don't know where it Anyway, went. and I would continue this process until my stem and my leaves are on all the things. Okay. So that's how I use the caterpillar to get perfect placement. Isn't that's that cool? cool? So again, the same process. And again, the way that this has been laid out, let me show you flower number one that I'm going to. Are they going to get all put. these patterns? They are. It's going to, it's, it's my way of bringing in spring. Wouldn't it be <laughs> cute on a big, long pillow? Yes. 
it would be so cute. Like so I do cute. a bench pillow or something. Mm -hmm. So when you get these this week, I'm going to release a new flower every day this week, Monday through Friday. All right. I've got five flowers. I'm going to give you both the sewing machine version as well as the embroidery. Get version out. Version for free for everyone. Get out. No, no. I'm definitely doing I, these. Springy. Yeah. Right? I can't wait to see everybody's pictures of what fabrics they're using. How did you so, find time? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so here we go. So this is going to be the first one. It's not on the website yet. Okay. okay. It will be up later tonight. So please note, this was Chris's harebrained idea earlier today that said, oh, I should give these out to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> today. Did you hear today. that? That's today. Yeah. yeah. So um, F1 stands for flower one. And then, so flower one A is going to be, you know, here. Flower 1B is going to be underneath. So it, or you could do it on top. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I, I mean, these are just suggestions, obviously, right? But let's say, Kyle, you put this on first and you go, you know what? I wanted this to go, I wanted the stem to go over top or vice versa. You could lift it up and just Be put it on top. Before because you're using steam ironed seat. it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Then you've got F1C, because you're pre uh, previewing it. F1D, exactly. And then you have all your pieces here. Okay, enough of that. Any questions so far on how the flowers come together? Um, this is. I, this is I, a great I was beginning one. Earlier, I want to flood Instagram and Facebook with happy flowers. Mm -hmm. We all need a little bit of happy flowers in our life, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So <gasps> I want so I can't good. wait to Cute. see what everybody ends up doing. And are you selling these fabrics this week? Too? And and this, yes, on Wednesday, we're going to sell the fabrics if these are the uh, fabrics that you like. Mm -hmm. um, but this is a great way to use your stash too. So mm -hmm. pretty cool. Yeah, but I need those. You, you love these flowers? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. I know, right? The fabric is so pretty. Look at the butterflies. butterflies. And here's something else, You could Kyle. fussy cut those You out. don't have to. Who says a stem has to be green? Oh, you <laughs> wild thing. I, I know. Aren't I crazy? Get out I did of a here. purple stem. I did a green stem. I did an orange stem. That's awesome. It's all fine. It, it gives this one a little bit it's more collage. of a modern look, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Cool. So, again, if you're not on our newsletter list, make sure and sign up. What size is the blocks? Because, um, well, I did six Whatever by ten. Whatever you want. But, or not six by ten, ten by ten. But you could have cut out a whole long piece of fabric and then add them on Exactly. It. And you could add as many flowers as you want. Could like, repeat the I can't the wait. Let, style. Let's bring the, the camera back up here so I can just have a heart to heart with all of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to provide you with the the sewing machine appliques. I'm going to provide you with the machine embroidery appliques. I'm so excited. Absolutely free. But this is what I want to have happen. And let's go ahead and bring the lights back up because I think I'm going to be done with the caterpillar for right Do now. Do I turn on this switch? Oh, I got it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're awesome. Um, but, th but this is the thing. I want you, I can't wait to see what you do with it. Like, you could do a table runner. You could <gasps> That's do a, a great idea. A bed runner. Because you, you could, could do, do them pillows. different ways do, too. Yeah. Like I just want to flood social media with flowers. Why not? Because right? I could do a border in green so it looks like it's grass all the way around. Exactly. Wouldn't that mm, be cute? Darling. It would be so fun. And they're easy to do. Even if you just do one block. Just one block mm -hmm. is going to be perfect. Right? So let's see. I'm just trying to see. We have questions. Canvas bag. Yep. Oh, well, that would be All really cute. So those very Kimberbell fun. canvas bags. Mm hmm. Ooh. Even, even the. Yeah. And you're going to get them all week long, Monday through Friday. Again, give me till tonight to get the first one up. But um, let's see. It, we'll do it for several weeks. We'll do a sew along. And I'm calling it Nana's Flower Garden. Nana. I know. Nana. My, my Nana, my grandmother, had a beautiful flower garden. Mm. And so that's what it's named after. Nana's Flower Garden. So we're going to do a sew along 
that you were going to tag, and I'll put the comments up here in just a minute. Pillowcase cuff. And it's going to say Nana's Flower Garden Sew so Along. It's kind of a long one, but that's what we're going to do. And I just, just for fun. Nice. Just for fun. Okay, let me show you a few quick tips. We've gone, we're almost ready to be done. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, let's go back to the drawing board here. And let me give you a few quick tips on machine applique. Okay. When we're doing blanket stitching, and again, I know this doesn't apply mm -hmm. to everyone because some of you it are going to be a doing technique. machine embroidery. It does take a technique. When you do a, this is what it, I would call a jump when you're going outside. Let's come a little closer if we can. And this would be called the bite. And it comes back up and it does a jump and a bite. Many of you have seen me demo this before. Mm -hmm. Jump, bite, jump, bite. So just get in your mind what the anatomy of a blanket stitch is. On some machines, you can actually do a jump and another jump and then a bite and back. Jump, jump, another bite and back. I prefer that. I, I like it because you can actually get around a little bit easier, maneuver around. So you, on you a do tight, what you get used on to. On a tight circle, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. So we have jump. I'll just do the regular one for now. Jump, bite, back, jump, bite, back, jump, bite, back, jump, bite, back. And you're going to be saying this in your sleep. Jump, bite, back, right? And do I keep that on the edge of my fabric? Exactly. You want your needle to always be on the edge of the fabric. Now, here's the thing that I've shared before. How many of you have done blanket mm -hmm. stitching mm -hmm. and you get a blanket stitch that looks like that? Yeah. Have you, Kyle? My friend has. Yeah, your friend has. Yeah. Well, let your friend know. Okay. <laughs> There's a reason for that happening. Uh -huh. And that's what I like to call an alligator bite. An alligator bite happens is because we've moved our project to In the soon. middle of it. Exactly. So if you want to avoid alligator bites and have beautiful stitching when it comes to blanket stitching, always make sure that your stitch lands here before you move it. It's got to be on the outside. Mm -hmm. So let's say I'm turning my project and I go jump, bite, back. Now I can move it because it's in this position. My needle is in this position. If my needle is over here, Kyle, then and you've I moved move it, it. You've moved it. The stitch is going to go like that, uh -huh. right? You have so to go pretty why. slow until you get the idea Take of it. Take your time, maneuver it, absolutely. Okay, here's my other and question. Then always make sure needle is right in the outside. Okay. Yes. Question. Well, lots of times, I'll be going mm -hmm. along, and I'm I'm not. It's not going towards the center. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I asked somebody, how do you make sure that you are getting all of your bites well, going in the right direction? Yeah. Because I can end up with them all over. Exactly. And here, here's a little, a, a little trick for you. If you use the same color thread, <laughs> you won't see yes, it as yes. well. <laughs> I like it. I like it a I'm lot. I'm just saying, look at how my black stands out. Mm -hmm. If I had had red, you wouldn't see those no, little you wouldn't. nuances, no. right? So just remember, that's one of the reasons why you do it. But you always try and keep a steady rhythm as you go around, all right? Somebody told me, have them always pointing to the center. Yes. Try and get them going that way. Yes, and that way it, it shifts all the way around. Definitely, yeah. Then if you have a point, uh, uh, okay, that's I always go one stitch story. over. Do you? Yes. This is one of the reasons. Let me go back to one of the reasons why I like jump, jump, uh, bite. Oh, yeah. Jump, jump, bite, back. Jump, jump, bite, yep. back. Look at that. Yes. Jump, jump, bite, back. Jump, jump, bite, back, and so forth. Now, you can make this. I mean, obviously, I'm you did much. Big. This is much bigger than what it is. But, but you could have you could have had that. First jump uh -huh. end at that point. Exactly. And sometimes you got two what tries. happens is it goes off in left field. Uh, Have you had that happen before? Never. So frustrating, mm -hmm. right? So but I'm not about to unpick it. No. 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 Not unless it was super noticeable. Yes. If it's not super noticeable, I just let it go. Uh, yeah, Sandy said lighter weight thread is better, definitely. Mm. So if you want something that kind of sinks into Give it more, use like a 60 weight thread or an 80 weight thread. Okay, that would definitely sink much more in 
to that. Do you see what Patsy said? Kyle was Jimmy, your friend that needed to know how to avoid the alligator stitch. <laughs> yeah, I think that was him. That was Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, now that I think about it. Hi, Jimmy. Love you, Jimmy. <laughs> so what I'm hoping this week um, is that this will, let's come up to the top again. What I hope is that this will give you a chance to really perfect your Absolutely. basic applique skills. And you all know me. I love machine embroidery. Like there is nothing better except when I like doing it by machine too. Mm -hmm. I like by both sewing looks. machine. I you could intermix looks. them. It, why not? You could. I I just like both. I sometimes you could also do a a lighter red and a darker red yeah. as your applique. Yeah, yeah, you definitely could. Yeah, or you could so, do white. I mean, you could have fun with this, just like I did orange stems right here. Mm -hmm. What if you were to do a purple? going around. I mean, why you not? Could, you could get why as not? funky as you wanted, right? That's a good idea. And Kay, you're right. You could also do hand applique. Mm. Oh, look how pretty these show up on I camera know. right I there know. now that the lights are back on. Mm -hmm. Look at that, my friends. So that's what you can look forward to this week. And that's I awesome. hope you enjoy those patterns. Let's let's bring spring. On, do I have to wait every day the for the internet. new one? You do. I'm going to make <laughs> you wait. <laughs> I'm going to make you wait. Chris needs a chance to get them all done. No, I'm just kidding. I actually have all the sewing patterns finished. That's um, awesome. As you can see here, I just need to finish the machine mm. embroidery. But it'll give you a chance to, like, I just want you to focus on one a day. Just yeah. focus on I one a day. I can do that. Oh, yeah. look at that cute one. You never showed us oh, this one. Oh, I didn't show you this one? This one. Oh, it's cute. You like that? Let's see. Did I show all the rest? Nope. I think I got that cute. one. Oh. Here we go. Let's go through them and see this one here. Here. I got five of them. That okay. one's cool. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Nana's flower garden. I need to have the instructions down. Uh-huh. Oh, there it is underneath. So, oh, there we are. <laughs> nice. That, what a mess. They're all cute. Okay. So again, I'm using this splendid fabric line, which I'm super excited about. And you will have enough fabric left over. I think I'm going to do another pillow. I think that's going to coordinate with this. I'll have to, if I can get it done this week, I'll maybe do a little video. But it's going to be all triangles. That's what I have in my head. Get out. Pillows, a, a pillow that's all triangles, and then it will coordinate with. With this fabric? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to take a week off of work. <laughs> <laughs> all right, friends. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Again, this is amazing. Wednesday is when the irons are going on sale, as well as the fabric. Sunday is when Caterpillar goes on sale, and it will be a steal of a deal. You promise? All right. I promise. You're not going to want to miss out. So, All right. And again, I'll shout out from the rooftops as soon as the patterns go live. We'll put them inside the club as well for those who want this. But easy everybody access. gets them for free. Everyone gets them for free. Even this the embroidery. Week. This week. We'll do it this week. Oh, okay. After yeah. this week, it might go on sale. We'll see. I don't know. Early bird gets the worm. Oh, yeah. Snap. There you go, <laughs> Miss Kyle. There you go. Um, all right, friends. Well, let's talk about a couple other things that you can look forward to. Okay. Let me pull up my banners. Um, oh, okay. So first we'll off, forget. <laughs> I want you to download the flower of the day design each day this week. So I will keep that the first one posted tonight. Um, then make sure and sign up for our email at mygirlfriendscoldshot.com because we don't want you to miss out on this deal of a deal. Finally, this is a message from Allison. I didn't want to forget. As you know, we are doing a complete remodel of our Logan store and it is turning out so oh, beautiful. Wow. But there is going to be Bright one and fresh. wall. Yes, one wall in particular that is going to be dedicated to all of you, all of our girlfriends and guy friends from all over the world. And we want you to be a part of it. So this is what we're asking if you wouldn't mind. We would like you to create a five inch block to, and send to us in the mail. Okay. Or for those of you who are local, bring it by the store. It can be anything you want, but we want your name and 
what town you're from or what state you're from, what country you're from, whatever. Um, city, state, if you want, whatever you feel comfortable with. Now, uh, it does not have to be sewn into anything. And trust me, you could take a five inch square of fabric and write your name and where you're from on it. If you, didn't, it. if you didn't want a piece or applique anything. Just so we have your name and just, where you're from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that'll be fun to have just. And uh, that is going to be, um, Judy, it's not, it's going to be unfinished because we're actually like Mod Podging it onto a wall. <laughs> so you don't even have to. Really? Like we're not sewing it into a quilt, we're Mod Podging it. I know it's going to be interesting. We'll see how it goes. That's yeah, cool. Deborah, Texas blue bonnets. Like, if you want a fabric that represents your state, that would be awesome. You could embroider on it. You could hand sew. You can sewing machine sew. You could just send in a plain five piece of inch. fabric. Just five inches. Just five inches. So we'll make sure and put a post on there for that. And I'm also going to. I'm just going to put in the comments real quick. Uh, Nana's flower garden. So a long, it's a long one, but if you want to participate in that, how do we do that? Go to Facebook it. or where? Well, you're going to post it on Facebook, Instagram, wherever. Any one of them, and you can just put in all the flowers. So anyway, yeah, it's uh, no no color preference. Was Maryland. there a deadline? Deadline, let's say, yeah, we want it by shop hop, so oh, fast, sooner the better. And you want your name on the front, don't you? You want your name and state mm -hmm. on the oh, front? Oh, yes, so we name can see? and state on the front, or name and wherever you're from. Don't put it on the back. No. It should we be want on everybody the front. to see it. And do, if you write on it with a marker, does it mat, uh, permanent? Yeah, we, we want don't it want it to, be, to bleed, because no. if you're going to Mod Podge it. Yeah. So Are you actually we're gonna, much pudging? Well, we're going to have to play with it and okay. see. I don't know. We'll figure something out. But we would love that from you guys. We'd be so grateful. It would be really, really fun to have you participate. We want something from all of our friends from all over. Mm -hmm. So five inches, and there you go. So, mm -hmm. okay, we'll make sure and put more information out there. But I told Allison I would make sure and share that with Ooh, you. Good thing you did. Today. So, yeah. Yeah. Woo, we did now it. Are you Ms. doing Kyle. the sneak peeks? Oh, sneak peeks, real quick. You already got some of the sneak peeks, mm -hmm. but talk about that one, oh, Kyle. This is a panel. This is a quiet book. I got it this morning. So cute. And I got it done. Oh my gosh. All the it's way. Adorable. Adorable. So darn cute. Instructions were great. And oh, look at monster. those little horns. You can't resist I those love horns. That. I so love much that. fun. Yeah. Easy. Very, very easy peasy. Cute. Say please, little monster. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need one of those for Bridger. Too. Uh -huh. You better take. Oh it. my gosh. Okay. Oh, shop hop. When is it? It is um, April twenty six. About a month away. Twenty seven something. So, if you could have your blocks in by April fifteenth, we'll say tax day. Oh, tax day. <laughs> if you want to remember, <laughs> just make day. sure they get to us before then. That would be great. This is more important than doing your taxes. Exactly. <laughs> We also are going to be showing off the binding ease, uh, another favorite. I forget about this, but this is wonderful. Oh my gosh, when it comes to Slick. you know putting your binding through the little loops and just sliding it along. A lot of you have it. Binding ease just came out with a brand new color in purple. Pretty. And then this is a girlfriend exclusive. Want to talk about that? Yes. This is so much fun. We did these a couple years ago. This is mine from home because I did all of them. Did you? All of them. I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's look really at how much cute. fun. So those are some of the things you can look forward to. And don't to. look at my points. Oh, I was a beginner. Oh. <laughs> a few Whatever. years ago, I would never do that you, now. <laughs> never, never. You did a great job. No yeah. one notices. What you talking about? Did it's a great job. It's cute. Um, thank you, Elisa. Put on there. Utah Shop Hop is April twenty. Oh, 26 through the 24th 26th. through the 26th <laughs> and April 29th through May 4th. Okay. So. All right. All right. Okay, friends, we talked a lot today. Wow. And we went over time, but hopefully oh, surprise. Was... <laughs> I know we just have. Yeah, so but much you time. had such a good thing. And I love, love, love the lights table things. Yeah, me too. I'm super excited about it. I'll be able to see what I'm doing. Yeah. It's all about the light, folks. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone. Thanks for being with us. Have fun sewing. Keep doing all the things that you love. 
and we'll see you again real soon. And give Bridger a big kiss from all of us. I and will, a snuggle. I will. Absolutely. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.